Well, today we're at uh, Kingsley Community School in Liverpool. This insulation would typically have to generate for around 20 years, and that's why the products we use have to be good quality products to withstand 20 years of what the weather and mother nature can throw at them. For any solar photovoltaic installation, the cabling is fundamental to the performance and its degradation or poor performance can lead to inefficiencies, heavy costs and downtime. Flexible conduit is an ideal form of cable protection, protecting from ultraviolet, water, changes in temperature from below freezing to hot sunshine and other hazards such as rodents and verming and vandalism or even cable theft. Safety is of utmost importance, especially in a school and public sector buildings. So we would need to protect the, the cabling against vandalism and also the risk of electric shock. As a manufacturer, we can offer over 52 different conduit systems. And very often there's too much choice for the customer. So we look to advise the customer based on the hazards that they face and the likely hazards that they've identified throughout the lifetime of the installation. Feed It Green will be using two different types of conduit systems. For up on the roof, they're using a nylon FPAS conduit system, corrugated, which allows them the flexibility and also the adequate protection against UV and good compression strength and allows the cables to be routed throughout the installation for termination with the panels. The system is also using FPA T pieces to be able to tap off the installation to the different string arrays. From the roof, the cabling feeds down under the eaves of the building into the plant room. So this is the section where we need to particularly focus on security to prevent potential vandalism. So for this section, we're using a metallic conduit from Flexicon called FSU. This is a galvanized steel coated conduit offering IP65 protection. And as the connections are under the building, IP65 is adequate from an ingress protection perspective. Offering high mechanical protection, a good bend radius, and also offering UV protection, this conduit is ideal for providing the additional mechanical protection required on this public building. So to join the non-metallic conduit and the metallic conduit, we've used a coupler, which enables the two conduit systems to join together. Once inside the building, the conduit is terminated using a rubber end cap, which seals the end of the conduit while still allowing the cables to be terminated into the inverter. So within the plant room, we're also protecting the cables from the inverter to the distribution board. So this is a long-term investment and it's essential that the installation stays running for 20 years or more with little or no maintenance costs. Some installers don't pay enough attention to cable protection, which might cause unnecessary downtime. Mm -hmm.